welcome back to the Bills of Show, eh? Today we're gonna carry on with some more RC stuff we are because today it's just cocked outside. Cold, rainy, and just shitty out, boys. But I did manage to get the UDR somewhat hosed off, boys, and blew off. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to put on those steel hexes I am, eh? With you guys. Freaking right I am. So let me get you set up here. And we'll do this on the floor because it's all wet and I don't want to put it on my bench, boys, and my bench is still cocked. But got the body done. Not sure if I like it, but hey. It's gonna get wrecked anyways. So, uh, she is what she is, she is. Friggin' right. Hey, boys? Good enough. It's gonna get wrecked anyway. I might tweak it after I get it on. Got the X-Max body together and on, boys. That one turned out freaking decent. These are the bodies you can buy pre-painted, but this is clear. So I just used my colors and painted the backside, and that's what it looks like, boys. So it looks pretty freaking awesome, it does. So that body I really like, I do. I'm scared of wrecking, but I'm gonna wreck it. So it is what it is. Let's get down and dirty with the old UDRage, and we'll get these uh, hexes changed out, and then we'll uh, do some cleaning maintenance on the old girl we will. Eh? Why the hell wouldn't we, boys? So hopefully, you can see what's really going on here. I haven't got the ideal setup right now, I don't. So what I'm gonna need is to take off the tires and I'm gonna just use what I have here because I have it here. And you probably can't see because my armpit's in the way. Why wouldn't it be? Hold on a second, I'll get out of the way in a minute. You just have patience, would you? Holy, can't we find something a little a little smaller now, boys? 9 16 with a ratchet. <laughs> We're gonna take the old tires off the UDR with a ratchet today, we are. So, we'll start by using the wrong thing on the wrong doodad. Why wouldn't I? I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. No, wrong size. No, wrong size. There it is. Trying to do the X-Max thing. You know, the X-Max is really big lugs. That's what I was trying to do, boys. Lost myself there. So we'll pull this tire off and we'll pull the next tire off, the next tire and the next tire off. So now that we pull them off, we gotta pull off these we do. So we're gonna need fucking goddamn Allen key we are. So we're gonna start by pulling off these, wrong size, like so. We slide that off. So we'll set them aside. We'll grab ourselves an aluminum one. We'll put these on as we go, boys, because that way I don't lose my pin, eh? I have a pin just in the right spot, you do. So now we'll throw the tire back on, and we'll tighten her up. So that's all there is to changing them, which is pretty freaking simple, isn't it? That's freaking decent. So now we'll pull off the back ones, same way we did the front ones. You got a different screw in this one for some fucking reason. Which is all fucking cocked over and stripped. Oh my god. Holy, that's tight. I think I put a real long one in there to help stop it from breaking off, boys, but I got a rotten headache today. I think I already told you that, but holy cow, it's just a pound of it is. I mean, it's a quarter pound of a cheese hamburger. Freaking headache, boys. So pull that out, pull all this off. Oh my God, see, it's already freaking half cocked. And we'll stick this one on. There we go. Like I said, I don't have any of them that are busted. I probably won't need them ever again now, but hey, just in case, I got them. I think they do this on purpose, so you have to buy parts. Right? Why the hell wouldn't they put these in here right from the factory? Thanks, Traxxas. Yeah, we got all sorts of money to spend, hey? We already spent how much money on your car, and then you friggin' put shit parts on them, and then we have to change them anyways? You guys were thinking there, right? I see how it is. It's a good game, though, hey? You got it right, you do. So you make money in this world, boys. Make people spend more money. Why wouldn't the hell you? As far as I'm concerned, the UDR should have come like this. Right from the beginning. Stupid having plastic in there. The amount of torque these things have. So now we gotta try to get this one out that stripped on me. And I still got mud all over this goddamn thing. It's good luck getting this screw out, little fucking wrecking it. Oh, there it goes. If any of you are asking why I'm not in the hobby, hobby room downstairs, it's just because everything's already out here. It takes me like forever just to bring everything downstairs and bring it back up again. And I got a WD-40 and I can't WD-40 downstairs, boys. So it's gonna be up here it does. So that's why I, uh, I'm not in the old hobby room, boys. Just in case you're wondering, what the hell is really going on? You'll be amazed what the WD-40 does. Oh, that one was starting to strip, boys. Oh yeah, it was. See, that's what happens to him right there. Turn it, fuck lines up. Oh my God. Stripped inside. Junk, eh? So we'll slap this one on here like this. Where in the fuck is my thing gone? So there you go. That's all there is to Changing out them parts right there. Friggin' easy, simple, careful, and gentle, boys. So we'll give this a quick wipe down, and then I'll uh, make 40 it, boys. You don't really have to clear too much, just so you know. Just give her a wipe, because the WD-40 does amazing stuff it does. Just wipe off the heavy stuff, boys, because it's gonna get dirtier than dick, so there's no point in getting too carried away. So we'll take this off, because that's gonna be in my way for the new body. There we go. Careful. 
And then we'll get out the WD and we'll make her look like new boys. So I take WD and I just... Coat her, boys. Okay. Just give her a coat and don't be shy. <laughs> and then you want to blow her off again. This is how I clean my RCs. Here's that or a dishwasher. And yes, I go through a lot of WD-48 doses. So there we go. Now we'll take the air compressor and we'll give her a blow job. Might get loud in here, but hey, it is what it is, it is. So I am going to say, boys, if you don't have an air compressor, I kind of feel sorry for you, I do. The air compressor makes a world of difference when you're doing this stuff. Makes it a lot quicker. If you don't have one, hey, you got to make do with what you got, you do. Oh, drop me nuts. Drop me screw in my balls, boys. Oh my god, I'm going to wreck this body so freaking fast. It's going to be ridiculous. This body's going to get cocked over in no time. Front. Boys, you don't look too bad this color. Growing on me, it is. It's kind of ugly at first, but hey, it is what it is, it is. Uh-oh. Slap that in here like this. Decent. Decent. Next. We're almost there, boys. Two more. Oh, got a fold on her, I did. It's already got a bend in her, Jim. Dennis, what's really going on? So many body with a bend in her already. Frig, why wouldn't you? Got a crease in her, boys. Oh, there we go. That's it for that. body again boys she looks like brand new she does actually looks pretty good i like it you don't like it i don't care i don't like it freaking right i do i even put some carbon fiber wrap on the roof ski oh, there you go boys don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button why wouldn't you Bill some on youtube hey freaking right it is so we'll slap this over here like this we got another one ready to go boys four out of five ready to rock boys so what are we gonna do finish up the old x max shock tower clean it wd-40 it and then uh, we're almost ready to go i don't know if i like the orange on that freaking charcoal gray boys that paint job turned out decent look at the metallic in it freaking right that looks good boys same color as a silverado it is all right i gotta take a break boys oh there we go boys got them all cleaned up and lubed up and tire shining up i do okay so they're ready to freaking go those two the x max and the udr boys are ready to rock and roll so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go downstairs with you i'm gonna clean up real quick and we're gonna get the slash ruski back together man oh man i tell you busy 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 eh shouldn't wreck them all at the same time like this this is just too much work boys when you're fixing multiples eh but uh i'll get some tools together and we'll uh take a little gander downstairs and we'll know why wouldn't we Okay, boys and girls, we're downstairs in the old hobby room we are with the old slasher ruski. So we're going to attempt to get this thing back together we are. It's been a couple weeks, it has. So hopefully I remember where everything freaking goes. That'll be the next problem. Look, I already lost a piece I need. Why wouldn't I? Where the hell is it, boys? Oh, God. Did I put it away by accident? Probably. I didn't put it away, but there's another one. So we'll find that one after we will. So first thing we got to do is remove this again. There we go. That was easy. And reassemble the new shaft of Ruski. I gotta break one at a time. This is ridiculous. Friggin' right it's ridiculous. Friggin' right you're not charging. What is going on now? For fuck sakes, these GoPros are gonna drive me to drink, boys. So we'll get this out of the bag like so. Reassembler on here somehow. I don't have a friggin' clue how I do this, boys. I forget. Friggin' right I forget. So obviously that's a drive. So that goes on there. But what stops it from going there? Oh no. Oh no, boys. Can't remember how it goes together. I got a bearing here. Where does that go? I'll figure this out. Don't worry. So obviously this was on there. This goes on there. So we got that far. So now I just got to determine which hole to use on this. Careful. Slide that through like so. Lock her in. Break the skin. That's not right. So it goes the other way. Have her backwards, I do. That looks better. So remember, when you're setting this up, this is a clutch, eh? So you don't want to go too tight with it, but you don't want to go too loose either. Or it won't slip when you jump, eh? And then you'll just break stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's how that goes. So we're going to need the gear for it. We'll tighten that up. Decent. And then we should be able to slip her right into the drive shaft, boys. So we're missing a bearing or something. Yep, right there, boys. So the bearing goes in the rear like that. This goes in like this. So we'll slap this back in. Actually, you gotta slap this back out. Oh, lay boys. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Slap that back in first. Slap this through. I hope you'll drive a ruski. Slide her in, and she should go on all it with together. There it is. Decent. So now we can put these screws back in here and here. There we go. There we go. So that's back in. Now we can slap the motor back in. The old motor, boys. Like so. Check the mesh. Not too bad. Hey, not too bad, boys. Too tight, Jim. Still feels too tight. Every time I tighten the motor, it pulls it back. 
So there you go, boys. Got that in. Things just flying together, it is. So set that aside. We'll put these in there where they go. We'll bring this back. We'll plug the motor back in. One, two, three. We'll slide it around like this, and then we put the electronics back in, eh? The steering goes into channel one, boys. ESC goes into channel two, boys. So there you go. My brain wasn't functioning before, so I had to uh, do a reboot on the old brain Ruski. I still don't think the brain Ruski's reboot yet, boys. The old brain's cocked today. Big time. Nothing like a big old cock brain, boys. So if that goes that way, that needs to go that way. I'm not even going to tape it down, you know why? Because I don't give two shits, to be honest with you. What is going on here? I'm all cocked over. Oh my god. Freaking shoving wires in here and there and everywhere. Gotta love putting these receivers back in. You know what I forgot? O-ringage. Don't forget your sealage ringage. You forget that, and everything's going to be just cocked. Big time. I don't know if anybody else hates receivers and putting them back together, but I sure the fuck do. There we go, I think. I don't think too much, but there we go, I think, hey? Screw El Drivo, and we'll drive the old screw -o into the old holo, boys. One, hey, one, two. Put the antenna through that one. We'll change these around a little bit because they're backwards. I don't like that stuff. Put that in like that. This back on like this. Can you even freaking see? Probably not. Take a break, go back to her. Take a break, go back to her. Why wouldn't I? Plus, I'm tired of having RCs all ripped apart and all over the place, to be honest with you, too. Slide this back into here. Slide that back in here like this. The locker for the old antenna. Holy frick, boys, we're almost there. So all I got left is this screw, which is for this cover. So that cover can go back on. We'll go get the tires, we'll slap them on. And Bob's your friggin' uncle. Bob, your uncle, boys. Proline 2.8 trenchers, boys, just so you know, in case anybody's wondering, bring it right there. They line up, decent. Friggin' should've got a new one of these. That one's pretty cocked over. I don't even know if I have a hole for a pin there. Always something, eh? Just when you think you're done and it's all back together, you forget something you do. Oh yeah. Careful. Come on, you son of a pin. Almost forgot the battery hold down I did. Put that in there so we don't lose her, boys. <laughs> Gonna have to order a new shock pin tower thingy and bobbers. They're deck boys. <laughs> friggin' right they are. <laughs> like I don't even know where the friggin' hole is for this one. Oh, there isn't much of one left. Oh, there you go, boys. The old slash Ruski. together friggin right and ready to freaking go all the rc's running except for the old spartan look at that boys hey eh? thing looks decked big time i don't like it but there you go so we got the slash we got the udr and we got the x max all ready to rock and roll hey eh? but anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button I know it's two RC videos in a row, boys, but hey, it is what it is. It's raining and cold out, so we gotta do something. We're going out tomorrow. I gotta go over to the States tomorrow. I gotta go to the you know, America tomorrow, boys, to pick up a new window switch for the old Silverado. I ordered one and gotta go over to some Courier Communications and grab her, boys. Freaking right I do. So we're gonna go over and do that and probably get some sheets for the old Bedaruski in the trailer. So I'm excited to that. Maybe I'll do some video recording. What do you think? Leave a comments below. Gonna drop that iMac off at uh, my buddy's place there. Hey, you know who I'm talking about. This, that, and the other thing. Hopefully everybody had a good day didn't, and staying nice and dry like I am and have a productive day like I am. Have a good night. Don't do anything I wouldn't do and uh, you know what to do for now.